So now here reduction means obviously this electrode will be treated as cathode. Okay, I'll write here. Cathode. Then definitely you know that redox reaction should happen. Here reduction means here definitely what will be happening? Here oxidation. Okay. So here oxidation. So loss of electrons is oxidation. Okay. So you know that loss of electrons is oxidation. And oxidation always happens at what? Your anode. I can treat this electrode as anode. So now what you got to know? So I have taken NaCl solution and I have taken two platinum rods connected to the battery. And since this is negative terminal, it is accepting the electrons. I have taken it as a negative electrode. And you know that uh, like it is accepting the electrons. Gain of electrons means reduction. And you also know that reduction means always reduction takes place at cathode. And obviously oxidation will be taking place. Then oxidation will take place at anode. Okay. This is all the thing. And you can see that here, this is... Uh, plus charge, why this is plus charge? Because it has lost the electrons and it is deficient of electrons. Okay, and hence it is treated as anode because oxidation is taking place. Okay, and then here you can see that this Na plus, these Na plus now where in the solution they move towards which plate? Definitely they move towards the opposite plates. If it is Na plus, then it will move here. Okay, because this is negatively charged. These will come at deposit here. And this is Cl minus. Where it goes? It goes to the positive. So it will come to this electrode. So these whatever the ions are there, no, they will go to the oppositely charged poles, you can tell. Okay. So this oppositely charged ion go to the opposite ends. So now can we write the reaction for that? Like so now this uh, like uh, the circuit is complete, isn't it? This Na plus here it goes uh, like because of negative charge and Cl minus here it goes. Now we can see that the circuit is complete. So let us try to write the reactions. Clear? So here you can see the reactions which is taking place at cathode and anode. So cathode means this reaction, isn't it? Where reduction is taking place. So you know that cathode always reduction takes place and anode always oxidation takes place. This you should know. Okay. So remember anode means oxidation, cathode means reduction. Okay. So here now see Na plus. This Na plus it is taking the electron and then it will get deposited as sodium. Okay. It will get deposited at sodium metal. And similarly here you can see Cl minus. So it goes to the uh, anode. Okay. And it gets like to balance half written half. Okay. Half Cl2 by giving the electrons. That is loss of electrons. It is there. So total balanced equation how I can write. See your balanced equation. This is Na plus. I can write it as Na plus. Here plus Cl minus plus one electron gives rise to here. Na plus half Cl2 plus one electron. So this both electron will get cancelled and this will be the overall reaction. Okay. So this is how your uh, formation of electrolytic cell takes place. Okay. It is just simple like your uh, NaCl solution is taken with the two platinum electrodes and definitely cathode will be there, anode will be there, uh, redox reaction will take place because a chemical uh, change should happen, isn't it? Chemical reaction should take place. So here in electrolytic cell what we can, like in this we can summarize this. Whatever your electrical energy is there, no? whatever out of battery, okay, electrical energy that will be converted into chemical energy. I hope you understood what is electrolytic cell. Thank you.